with stampingwithdye.com. I am so excited. My robot kit came. So that's what I'm going to play with today. In fact, I haven't even, I've opened it up, right? Because I kind of wanted to look at everything. But I haven't even made anything with it yet. So I thought, let's do this together. So let me make sure I'm in the right spot. Hold on a second. All right, so that looks good. Too many places, too many places. All right. Because after yesterday, when I hit the wrong button, oh my gosh. So anyway, all right, so we should be good. We should be good. So yeah, so welcome to my channel. I love that you're here. I love our little chit chats on the side. Hello, Lily. Um, the mailman has come, so I, sh I shouldn't have anybody knocking on the door. And I even had um, my order delivered. Um, we do the, I do the shipped stuff where they shop for you and bring it to your house. So I got, got some Easter candy. So I need to come up with some cute little things to share um, before Easter with you. Not today. I'm not going to be using those. I've just been drooling over the candy. <laughs> Um, so let's get started with the fun little kit. Now the kits um, are very similar to the paper, pump, com, paper pumpkin in a way, but um, what's a little different with the, hold on a second. Oh, I had to change my batteries. All right, hold on a second. How embarrassing. All right. And um, so it was going in and out. So I didn't open and close it right when i put the new battery in all right so just like i showed you the magnet board back here this is actually two of the magnet board kits and they you might be able to get them you might not um you just kind of have to keep checking right because these aren't a catalog item they're kind of a what would you call them write-in item and um so it's it's just you know it's just craziness. But anyways, it's exciting because it's like new stuff. It's like Christmas every time. So this is one of the, the new kits that just became available. Like I said, I just got it. And I'm going to stop blabbing so you can see. And I actually pulled some other stuff out of my cupboards because I'm like, well, this might look cute with it. This might look cute with it. And maybe I'll do a couple alternatives. I like doing alternatives. That's fun, right? I like to challenge my brain and... It's fun, and I think you should do the same thing when you get your stuff. When you do my classes in the mail, I love when people email me and they go, oh, look, I did the card different. And I'm like, oh, I love it. So we all have to um, be our own artist. All right, so, oh, Dawn's here. Aloha, Minda and Candy and Karen. It is hump day. Happy hump day. And my sister Jackie is here. So she has a little wrench by her name. So if you have any questions, um, and I can't answer or I don't see or whatever. Hopefully she can answer. And um, so let's get started. All right. So where was she yesterday when I touched the wrong thing on my phone? It was crazy. Um, all right. Because now it's saying rotate device. And I did. All right. So that's right. My hands are right. All right. It's got like a lock thing i don't know as long as you can see me i'm not gonna mess with the phone all right so let's get started all right so this is the fun little box they even kind of come in similar to a paper pumpkin box as well right except it's um except it is like plain right the paper pumpkins have a little bit of color to them and they're super cute. So I've just kind of been hanging on to them because they're a great little um, box. And you can actually, they're very similar to the priority boxes. So you could mail, you know, something in that. So anyways, all right. So that's the box that it came in. I did, like I said, I did pull everything out. This is the instruction sheet. And this is what I had the other day was the instruction sheet, but I didn't have the item code. So this is actually the item code. So 159. 336 is the item code for this kit and it's 23 um and that's before tax and shipping and that's for usa so if you're watching for someone from somewhere else your cost 
would be um, different, but it's still cute. And it says it's a kid's kit, which it probably is, but hey, aren't we all kids at heart? I totally am. I'm not gonna grow up anytime soon. All right, so let's see. This is all the stuff. I love it, gives you this nice big chipboard too. I have this whole bunch of chipboard. All right, it comes with a block. This is an all-inclusive kit, which means you have everything you need, right? So it comes with a block. It also comes with um, a Bermuda Bay and a pumpkin pie spot, so that's awesome. But you know me, I like to use my full pads. And then I just, you know, keep the spots for other times. The spots are awesome when you're using the Stamparatus. All right, so I'm gonna use the full pads. Now I've already mounted all my, cause I don't use my blocks cause I have all our main blocks, right? And I have everything mounted. Now it's a photopolymer stamp set. And that means it's brand new. So here's a little pieces. It's brand spanking new. And what I like to do when I have a photopolymer Growing up does stink, but I can have um, breakfast for supper and my dessert first, so that's kind of cool. All right, so what I like to do when I have a brand new photopolymer stamp set, I like to kind of prime it. I don't know if that's the proper word. I like to kind of get it ready for the ink because sometimes there's like a little bit of a coating on there from the process that makes the photopolymer stamp set. So what I mean by that is I take my Versamark pad and I did this to all of them, but I'll just show you what I did. So I just take the stamp, I put it on the block, and I just stamp it a couple times on the Versamark. And then I stamp it off on the scrap paper. Now you can clean it if you want, but that gets enough of it off. Do that to each one. And now when you stamp it, it will be, it will accept the ink better, right? It kind of just gets it ready. All right, so that's a little tip. So let me get all my pieces over here. Like I said, I haven't even put it together. All right, so you've got some cute little googly eyes. When I was looking at the pictures, I was like, it looks like googly eyes. And then I was like, but I didn't have the googly eyes, but they were in between the envelopes. So that's why I kind of like to go through and make sure I have everything. All right, so you've got some, um, this has got to be for stamping on. You've got comment bubbles or whatever. You've got a bunch of fun little um, stickery things. Super cute. These almost look like dominoes, don't they? All right. And your cards. So you've got some striped cards, some nuts and bolts cards, and then a scenery card. And look at the fun envelopes oh you got this for her now um well hello Minerva all right hang on a minute I'm gonna get that um every once in a while you get like this weird you know comment so I always get it off of there all right so look how cute the envelopes are and they have these cute nuts and bolts things in there so they're super fun all right, so I'm gonna set those aside. All right, let's see. Striped gears. And if you like these robots, look it. Remember, we have these robots too in the mini catalog. And I thought, oh my gosh, these would go so cute together, right? So anyway, so I put pulled that out so I didn't forget to tell you that. All right. So I probably should have looked at it a little better because I feel like I'm going, what? All right, let's get the instructions. Instructions. So it's got your instructions. There's no writing so that um, no matter what language you are, you just follow the things. Is that like Ikea? Is that like an Ikea thing where you put it together without the writing? All right, let's see here. Contains for nine cards and nine envelopes. It also goes with Balmy Blue, Bermuda Bay, Granny Apple Green, Night of Navy, and Pumpkin Pie. All right, super cool. Now I did pull out Balmy Bay, because I thought, you know what, if I do like an alternative, I also pulled out 
on. Now, usually, I rip this in half because it's a mess. There is a ruler on this side. See? There's a big old ruler so that you can measure. But you know me. I just like to... Um, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, whatever. This is like... This is why I usually do it ahead of time. Okay, so let's see here. Let's be friends. So we have our let's be friends. And it's going to be stamped with the Bermuda. So let me get my pads open. Have I lost you yet? This is a cute kit. This is a cute kit. Oh, you're so welcome, Karen. Yes, that prime your stamps when they're photopolymer. And you can maybe do the same thing with the rubber, but I find it more it more happens with the photopolymer. All right, so we have our Let's Be Friends. Now, a lot of times, I just do them all the same, even though you could make a variety. So I'm just gonna have them all say, let's be friends. All right, so I'm just gonna make them all be the same. All right, so let's be friends with Bermuda. And it's full of polymer, so you can see through, which is super cute. Now I have this behind here, the my grid sheet, but let me get, this because I don't think I'm going to be stamping up, off of anything right now. All right, so this way it'll stamp really, really good. All right, so let's be friends. Let's be friends. And then I'm going to get my hair. I know you're going to see my hair if I get too close. I have the phone way up there. So that you can actually see. Oh, see, I just saw my hair because there's like a time, a little bit of a time delay. So let me stand up so you don't see my crazy gray hair. All right, so let's be friends. So I like to kind of get my stamping done. All right, so let's be friends. Then we have happy birthday on these ones. And that's with the pumpkin. So I'm just going to make it like it's supposed to. So happy birthday. So just make sure you, you're doing the little swish right. Right? Because they did it this way, so they got more on the paper. So that one goes that way, but you need to flip it. You need to flip it. All right. I love little um i like remember last year we had that cute snail set whoops look at that i almost did that wrong we had that cute little snail set and it had that fun little die that was like a comment bubble oh it was so fun all right so let's see what else do i want we're also gonna stamp oh that's also let's be friends i guess there's only two words now i'm gonna wash this up because now i'm gonna do that one in pumpkin pie so we're going to do pumpkin pie for this one too. Pumpkin pie. And good, good, good. All right. Now wash so I don't forget. So that's all stamped. So I have all my words stamped. And then, all right. Okay, so that's what these white cards are for. So what did I say we're doing? Nine, nine cards. So let's count how many I have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so three are gonna go one direction, three are gonna go another direction. Now these are, I don't know where my ruler is, Oh, here it is. Let's see. Well, that starts at nine. Okay, that's weird. Oh, you know why? Look at, see, it's like a zero. See that? It's whatever this kind of ruler is. So you have your zero mark. All right, so these are five. I want to say they're three and three quarter by five. 
Yeah, they're three and three quarter by five. So that's kind of a size that I use common. And so what's nice is if you boo-boo, not nice to boo-boo, but if you do boo-boo, you can cut up just regular basic white if you make any um, mistakes. All right, so now, oh, we're gonna use stickers. All right, so we want two, some stickers. I guess we shouldn't call them stickers, but that's what they are. They are stickers. Hi, Joe. I'm just, um, I'm just doing this just right on the fly. I haven't even made one ahead of time. So you, this, this is how it is. This is how, how we roll with the computer little guys. So look how cute these are. All right. So we want, now I would put the body on first. So you just, they're like, um, what do you call it? Um, laser. They look like they're laser cut. Now they, they stick right to the thing. And I'm just wa looking at the paper, right? I'm just like looking at the paper and I'm putting right on the paper like that. Now, if you want, you could use dimensionals, but I'll do this one this way and then I'll do the next one with dimensionals. All right. And then this little guy goes here. Look how stinking cute. All right. And it does come with dimensionals. See, it has dimensionals. So I always have dimensionals. So in case I use these and then run out, I'm gonna use little baby ones as well. All right, so I'm going to, for this one, I'm gonna pop these up. So I'm going to, now they're sticky, right? So what you kind of want to do is take some of that sticky off so that if they touch the card, they won't stick. Because I want the um I want the dimensionals to be what's sticking them to the card. Just to give it a little 3D. So I'm putting all these dimensionals on there. And Hi, Cindy. And I can't touch anything on the phone today, so I mess up the video. All right. So I'm going to just cut my dimensionals so that the legs also have some support. All right. So now this little guy is going to stick out. And that way you can kind of see the difference, you know? So yeah, so definitely you want to get this kit. Now you could do this with your kids. I think it would be so much fun if you had like a birthday party coming up. Wouldn't this be a fun little, you know how everybody gives things to the kids at parties, you know? Wouldn't it be fun if everybody got their own little um, kit and then the kids made a little robot card at the um, party? Now it makes three of each design. So if you wanted to do it more economical, you could um, just open up the kit, but then you'd have to like cut, you know, cut these apart. Um, you know, you'd have to cut them apart, but then you could, you know, you could get the kit. Three kids could make one, you know, you could get three kids per one kit. Does that make sense? But wouldn't that be fun? Let me get some more baby dimensionals. So, hi, Carol. Use your embossing buddy or powder. I know, I don't have my embossing buddy. I don't know what I did with it. Or you can just put on your pants, right? You can just put it on like your pants, like your clothes, and that will take I have an embossing buddy, I'm sure, somewhere, but we don't sell them anymore. So then I try to get that kind of stuff off my t out of my area. But oh, well. but yes, that would mean rummaging around in my cupboard. So I'm just not going to do that. All right, I'll only do one with dimensionals, or you'll be here all day. 
All right. So then I do the same thing, support the legs. But see how cute it is with its, you can see that shadow. Like, look, you can see, you know, there's like a shadow around it because it has, has the dimension. So I like dimension. I think it always makes things look more expensive when you have, when things pop, right? Makes it look more demand, more expensive. All right, so let's move him over. Oh, look it, is that the right one? Hang on a minute, his arms are different. Hold on, I don't think it matters. Oh well, we'll see. I was like, I didn't even realize this guy's arm's different. So he is going to be almost holding hands with that one. That's okay, that's okay. All right, so then we want this head. So this one's gonna go on here and I'm just gonna touch that so that the head's touching the body. Then we want a blue one. Hey, Joy, you made it, you made it. All right, so there's the blue one. Super cute, super cute. All right. Then you want your let's be friends. So this one's pretty simple if that's all I'm doing with this one. All right, so hang on. We want our let's be friends. Now like these are the um, these are the glue dot or the dimensionals that come with it. And I think the dimensionals that come with the kit, they're a lot um spongier than the ones in the catalog. That's just my and they're and they seem like they're a little higher up. So I usually don't try to combine them because it might you um, might be kind of crooked a little bit. All right, so this is just on here like that. So let's be friends. Super cute. All right, so there's that one. Oops, I got to put these guys' heads on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Come on. Let's see. See, I don't think I have a embossing buddy anywhere close oh wait 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 can you hear me rummaging see oh <coughs> good golly i must have shook that yeah there's like embossing buddy powder everywhere oh good golly miss molly okay so we want this so I am. I'm going to take my embossing buddy. I should do it off camera. Because it's like stuff going everywhere. All right. So that's got embossing buddy on it. And maybe that's why we don't sell them anymore. Because of the because of the mess. All right. So let's see. I think we can put whatever head we want. So I'm going to choose this Let's see, is he too big? I'm just gonna have that one, because it's the same color. So I'm just gonna, but there's powder like coming out of that like everywhere. No wonder I had it in a closed container. All right. Okay, so now there's, there's now I just wonder if the glue dots will stick, the dimensionals will stick to it with all that powder. That was exciting. All right, so now we have these stuck on there okay so this little head's going on there i love it with the dimension now this head's bigger so i can use the big dimensionals and then our little greeting so cute oh my gosh isn't that so cute and this one even has a dimensional stuck to his head. All right, so there's that. So let's be friends. All right, so let's see, let's see. Let's be friends. So I'll just do those two. And then I'll do two of the other ones so that I can save to do alternative. All right, so hold on a second. Let's be friends. There's that one, one, two. All right, 
Oh, and it goes on the nuts and bolt paper. So that's super easy. That one was super, super duper easy. All right, where it is? All right, so here it is. So I need two of these. All right. So it's got this cute nuts and bolts design on it. Hey, Raquel. I might be here all day because I'm just doing these. All right, because see, I should, probably should have moved them down a little bit. But that's all right. That's okay. There's no mistakes in stamping, only design changes. I know I say that all the time, just so that I feel good about myself when I make boo-boos, because they're not really a mistake. And really, it's just paper, right? All right, so let's put these on here. All right, so I might add something down there in the bottom some ribbon or something after because for some reason I thought there was going to be something down there all right so there's that one so those ones were super super easy super cute let's see and don't forget we've got googly eyes but I don't see it saying to put on there yet all right but what's fun is there's a bunch of flowers and stuff. So I think I'm going to add some flowers. But I don't want to do that just yet in case I need it for another card. Right? So that's what I always tell my people at class. I'm always like, okay, if you want to do something different, that's totally fine. Just make sure you don't use something that you might need on another card. So, um, you know, watch the watch the whole video, you know, before you stray, not stray, but you know, do your own. So look how cute. So they're cute. But I do like the look of the one with the dimensionals better, just because it pops and it has that um, shadow around there. Okay, so let's see here. So let's see the next card. So the next card is goes this direction and we're gonna stamp so we're gonna actually use our stamps all right so i'll do all right so we want our so we're gonna build a robot now i'm gonna do the one in the center first and then it's going to be easier visually to space them out so they look good together. All right, so that's when this comes in handy, right? Or what is, see, I'm just not good with math. All right, so never mind. Never mind. I was gonna use that zero thing. But. Okay, so we're going to stamp our orange one. So we're doing our pumpkin pie one first. So he's going to be in the center. Now this time I'm coming down a little bit. So he's in the center. Super cute. All right. And then his little round head. And I like his head to touch, right? All right. And then this little guy. So this one kind of reminds me of, um, oh, what was that? What was that TV show? And it had that British guy. Danger, danger. He kept saying danger, danger. All right, so he's going to go there. Danger, danger. All right. So see, by doing this guy first, then you can kind of put these little guys a little bit better. All right, and then his little head. Lost in space, yes, Jean. I hope I pronounced that right. Oh, what am I gonna put on the inside of the cards? Um, Raquel, these just came out, so you definitely want to grab them as soon as you can. Um, this is the item code, 159336. 
You want to grab them as soon as you can um, because they're super cute. Like the magnetic board, like I don't know if that's back yet. All right, so I'm going to put his little head touching. And I love the photopolymer in regards that you can see through. So you can get it placed just right. So fun. All right. And then, then, then. So yeah, so you want to, um, oh, Gian. Okay, sorry, sorry. All right. Um, okay, okay, okay. Then we got our happy birthday. And we're also using some of the stickers. All right, so this is going to be happy birthday. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, so I probably should have came down a little more. See, this is uh, how you're learning, right? So now you're learning from me that you want to stamp these down further because that's pretty close, right? That's pretty close. All right, so let's do... Oh, so this one's going to have the googly eyes. All right, so hold on a second. Um, we've got little bow ties. Look how cute. So this guy's got a little bow tie on. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, and then this is the little girl. So she's got a little bow in her hair. All right. This is going to be so much fun to um, to do an alternative. All right, so that's that, that, that's that, that's that. All right, this has the googly eyes. All right, so this one has the googly eyes. So this one has a blue. And I just kind of bend, bend your plastic because then you can pull the googly eye off better. All right, so that's going to go on here. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. So just bend the plastic and then you're able to get your pick tool or your scissors underneath there to get your googly eye off. This is so hilarious because because like I said, I was like, oh, where's the googly eye? So I even pulled out. Remember when we used to have the googly eyes? So I have this jar full of googly eyes. So googly eyes for days. I know Raquel, it is so cute. All right, so peel that off of there. Let me put my happy birthday on. All right, so fun. Happy birthday. Oh, I got to do some hearts. I have to do some hearts. So now, you know, stamp them down just a little bit. And then I'll know, you know, when I make the next one, not a big deal. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. I thought they were all individual, but it's actually one piece. That makes it easy. And it goes right in there like that. Oh my gosh. I like to know who designs these kits because this one is stinking cute. All right, now this card uses the striped, the striped paper. All right, so it uses a striped paper and it also is being put on with dimensionals. Now, the picture, see, the pictures are great because it tells you, you know, the glue dots or the dimensionals, but it only says to use four, but I always like to put them in the center. Otherwise, if you just put them on the edge, let me show you. So I'll show you before I pull the backing off. All right, so let's just do one, two, three, and four. Four. So the backings aren't off yet, just so to show you. So like this. But look at, look how saggy your center is. Like these guys push out, right? But he's all saggy in the center. 
I don't like saggy centers. I don't like my saggy center, and I don't want my cards to have a saggy center. So I'm actually going to put two. We always have dimensionals. So, yes, use more. Oh, I can't wait to see my alternative, too, because I'm thinking in my head what I want to do. I haven't made it. Just like I said, I just made these. All right, so look how cute that is. Oh, my gosh. See the little googly eyes? So, too funny. Oh, so there's one. One, one, one. All right, so let's see. So let's do this other style, and then I can start doing alternative stuff. All right, so hold on a second. So here is this one, and this one is also being stamped. I think this one might be my favorite. Look at that. Look at the clouds. All right, so it's just this little guy walking along. And he's in the Bermuda. So he's just strolling along. Oop, I didn't put that mat under there. Let's get the mat. All right. And his little head. Oh, look at this time. He's using the round head, so I need to wash it. I need to wash the head. No saggy centers. Exactly. All right, so he's using the round head. It's so fun, they're just mix, mix and match. Mix and match. There's something on that. So he's got a little scar right there on his cheek. Poor guy. Poor guy. All right, let's see here. Okay, this has, okay, so this is what uses the so this has googly eyes too. It goes like this. Now I don't understand why it's on that side because there's nobody over there. So me, I would move it over here because he's saying it, right? Unless the flower's saying it. That's just me. I might be a little peculiar, peculiar. All right, so we've got some cute little flowers. Look how adorable the flowers are. But look at this kit has so many different things. So you asked what I was going to put on the inside. And I might use some of these things on the inside. But I would cut another piece of paper. All right. So look how cute that is. So I would, um, I would cut more paper to put on the inside. So it's not. Because this is um, different paper than like our basic white. So I would put another piece in here, and then if you boo-boo it, you can just redo it instead of doing it on the card and then boo-booing it. So, all right. So let's see here. So I'm going to put it on this side because he's saying it, right? See, the instructions has it over here. I don't understand that. I do not understand all right, and then, all right, I'm like looking, 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 all right. So now we can have fun. Not that that wasn't fun, but I mean, now we can um, get our thinking caps on because that is just plain, right? It doesn't go on anything else. All right, so there's there. Okay, so now let's have fun. Let's have even more fun. So let's bring out our, all right, so let's do this one. All right, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to trim it. So this is just me. And I'll probably mess it up. And I'll probably go, what the heck? All right, so I'm gonna trim this at four. Trim, trim, trim. So I'm trimming that at four. 
And then you'll have this extra piece of paper. So if you have any boo-boos. So four by five and a quarter. So four by five and a quarter. So now I'm making, I'm going to be able to put some cardstock behind it. Right? And of course I don't have that cardstock very handy. Let's see. Let's see. I just have this sitting there. What size is this? This is why. Oh, so see, that's a little bit smaller. This was left over from my, um, whatchamacallit? That ocean card, remember? All right. That's all right. We'll just use Coastal. Coastal looks fine. I could trim it even smaller, though. Hold on a second. Hold on. Un momento. No problem. It's a hard name. Oh, it's a nickname. Oh, I'm sorry, Brett, and you don't have this one? Will you get it? All right, so I'm going to do three and three quarter by five. So three and three quarter by five. You just kind of like um, figure out these sizes, like three and three quarter by five, four by five and a quarter, four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, they're kind of like the standard sizes. All right, so now I can put this, right? So now this can go and then it can go, because it looks super cute with the Coastal, right? Like, Coastal wasn't named, but it still looks cute. It still looks adorable. All right, so let's see here. Let's see. Because you get two full packs of these. All right, then I also cut myself. I'm like looking, looking, looking. All right, because I also wanted to remember the yesterday i did with the sponging all right so let me do that real quick i know i'm going like everywhere but i also wanted to show you what i meant in regards to making a little like a thank you card so this is the front balmy went with it remember i said balmy went with it oh you got the bir the birthday candles kit is really cute so maybe it'll just come a little bit later. All right, so this is like I did yesterday. All right, so I'm just doing some dots and just kind of swirly, swirly. Now this is that, you're gonna get this mask with class this month. All right, so I just wanted to have a little bit of something, something, all right. So these can be my insides of my cards, All right? But what you can do is, so now we can stamp our cute little robots on the front of our card, All right? So let's see here. And then I'll show you what I meant. So this is just um, four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's actually a piece of cardstock cut into quarters. Put our cute little, so this is the basic white. This isn't the paper that came with the kit. So look how cute it is. All right, and then I want his head to be a different color. All right, so I'm gonna do an orange head. And I'm gonna turn it to the side a little bit. So it looks like he's thinking. It makes him a little more human, right? It's like he's going, hmm, what do you think? All right. And then I'm gonna pull my greetings, my nuts and bolts. All right, so let's see here. Greetings, kind human. So I'm just like really um, straying from this kit for a second. I just want to quickly show you what I was talking about. All right, so greetings, kind human. Let me see how straight that is. Not too bad. All right, so greetings, kind human. So I always put a card out for my shipped person. So I always like to have like cards ready to go. All right, so greetings, kind human. Then we can put... 
a little flower and because see it has all these cute little things and let's put um, a blue bow tie and that will cover up that his head isn't touching but I kind of like his head's kind of crooked right Oh, he's cute with a tilted head. I, I, it would be fun, right? And I've never thought about doing a class where I get the kids ahead of time and then I come up with some different things. So maybe I'll have to think about um, doing that because Stampin' Up! doesn't want us to come up with alternatives because they want us to um, not have to stress, you know, about um, not not stressing but we always have to come up with something new all right so since this is alternative i'm also going to use um my boingy eyes that i have at home all right so there's a white one and a green one so he's got two different eye colors and glue dots i because i i i love because you know how sometimes you go, my mojo's gone? Like people will say, oh, I lost my mojo and I can't come up with... So I think if you just sit and just play and then there's no rules, you just have fun, your mojo will come back. You, it totally will. I totally lost my mojo while my foot was healing because I was so depressed. I mean, because it was just... Ugh. So it's fun. To sit and play and it's it's fun to sit and play with all of you all right so i have one big eye one little eye so that he looks you know he's handmade his head's a different color his body's a different color but look how cute that is so this is made you know like i said this is a quarter sheet of cardstock then it's all ready to go so then you can decide if you want to mount it on cardstock or you could simply, you know, say thank you. You know, it's like a little, it's just like a, um, almost like a postcard, right? Like a postcard. But anyway, so it's kind of cute, you know, being, he is very handsome. Look how cute he is. All right, so let's, I'm just going to set him aside and we'll decide what we're going to do. All right, so let's go back to this card because it was like squirrel. All right, so let's do something very similar. All right. So I like this guy. I don't know why, but he's nice and big. So I kind of like this guy because he's nice and big. So where's my embossing buddy? So I'm going to put some powder on the back of him so I can... Oh, that's messy. Good grief. Good grief. That is very, very messy. All right. Dimensionals. But don't those sets go good together? Do you think so? Do you like that, Jan? Don't you think that these sets go good together? So definitely grab the um the robot set from the mini. We should be knowing the retired list, I would think, soon. Or what's carrying over into the main catalog. Because we'll be getting a new catalog starting in May. So if you have not placed an order with me in the last six months and you want a free catalog in the mail, you have till the end of this month to place an order with me in order to get a free catalog. Because if you haven't ordered in the last six months, then you're probably not stamping or you're stamping with another demonstrator and then you'll get one from, from her or him. So that's why I always say, all right, so I have did I pull this off? Yeah. So we're going to go stick this little guy on there. Look how cute. Look how stinking cute he is. All right. Now he has that little circle there, but look, you have a whole bunch of circles in here. So I'm going to change and put a circle on there. I'm also putting whatchamacallit, embossing buddy stuff on it. And I need a baby glue dot. 
because I want that to stick out too. This is so much fun. This is like funner than working on a puzzle. And we have a puzzle started on the kitchen counter. And I always, I'm, I'll be doing it and I'll go to Jeff. I'll go, tap me out. I got to go to work. Tap me out. Because I just, I would sit and work on it all day. So look how cute that is. Look how cute. Can you see how he's, he's like standing there? See, you can see the dimension that he has. All right, so let's find his head. We've got a few heads going on there. I keep gravitating to the orange one, but then I only have one orange one left. So let's do this one. Let's do this one. I might have to get a couple more of these kits. So now, Raquel, you have, it is perfect with the nuts and bolts, Jan. Um, so now you make me think about this would be a fun class all right so we have our cute little guy i'll make his head be straight so there's that i'm gonna do let's be friends so what's happening is i'll probably end up using stuff i need but that's okay that's okay. Now we don't have refills for these kits. So you know like the paper pumpkin? Like sometimes you can get refills. So these don't have refills. There. So if you get a, two kits, you're gonna get like double everything, like the stamp set and the blocks, the whole kit and caboodle. So anyway, so that might be fun for um, a class in the mail. So I'll have to think about it. You got my mind going, Raquel. All right, so let's see here. Let's see here, let's see here. We want some googly eyes. There's big ones and little ones of these too. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna go big eye and big eye, but I'm gonna have them be different colors. We used to have a dog that had two different color eyes. All right. Super cute, a green and blue, because you've got the blue for here, so it coordinates, the green for that, so it coordinates. Let's be friends, let's bring this over. All right. So I'm gonna put some flowers. Cute little flowers. Oh, look it. There's hearts, right? So I'm gonna go. Where am I gonna put that heart? I'm like going, hang on a minute. I'm gonna put that heart back over there. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We also have those cute little dominoes. Cause look how, it's just adorable. Okay, so let me get the inside of my card. So I need to trim this down because remember I told you this is four and a quarter by five and a half. So this will be too big, right? Because if I try to put this on the inside of my card, it's the same size as the inside of my card and I want it to be a little bit smaller. So. We're just gonna trim, and this will be, so I'm gonna make it be four by five and a quarter. And then it will be just a little bit smaller than my card so that you'll be able to see my coastal around the edge. All right, so let's bring this over. All right, because just because we have the stickers on the front doesn't mean we can't stamp on the inside. So also with this kit came these cute little gears. So you can also stamp the little bow tie and you can also stamp some gears. So let's do 
some cute little gears. I need to put my scrap paper because I do want to stamp. So it, it's much more pleasing to the eye to be an odd number. I always tell you that. But it's also pl more pleasing to the eye if it goes off the page. Instead of it just staying within, you want it to like go off the page a little bit. So I'm just putting the gears. So see how that goes off the page? So just to have a little bit of fun on the inside of our card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. Nine. So look how cute. Isn't that cute? A little pop of color on the inside. So let's be friends, it said. And then it had happy birthday. So let's go. You make my heart go beep. And then that's where I'll use that little heart. Remember I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with that heart? Now I know. All right, so you make my heart go beep. Let's see how straight that is. So sometimes if something's crooked, it's best to just make it be as crooked as heck than try to be straight. All right. So you make my heart go beep. And now I can get my little heart that I didn't know what to do with before. So now I'm going to take my green little heart. And where do I put it? I could put it on the go. I'm just going to stick it here. So now you have that cute little heart. All right. So let's get this going. And then I have a cute little idea for this too. All right. So hold on a second. So stick that on here. Now we have these um, acetate boxes. We have these acetate boxes in the catalog. And they hold cards right here. So these are in the main catalog. So this is a packaging basics page. So a lot of times you kind of just flip right on by it, right? Because we're so used to just looking at the stamps and all the cute stuff. But these are awesome for packages. So we've got um, jam jars and um, the acetate boxes and mini coffee cups. I mean, so many things. So these are the, so we have small acetate boxes, but this is the card box. So that's what I'm going to be showing you in a minute when I get this card put together. Um, because I want to make a little quick little present that would be perfect to give. All right, so we've got our Let's Be Friends. So our Let's Be Friends, and then the inside of our card. So you make my heart go beep. Isn't that fun? All right. And then all right, so there's our cute little card. Don't forget we have those envelopes. So we have this adorable envelope. Oop, did I get it into the pumpkin? Nope. So we have these cute little envelopes. Now what's fun, if you want to use our basic envelopes, our basic white envelopes, you can cut these up and then you'll have more um, like paper. And look at how cute that is, right? You got that really cute... Um, nuts and bolts on the inside. So if you want to get more um, cardstock kind of things, then just cut your envelopes up and just use our basic ones. But I want to use um, the envelope that it came in or came with it. So I've got my Let's Be Friends. So you make my heart go beep. And I'm going to stick it in the envelope. And we are going to, so let's see here. I'm going to put it in the envelope like that. It also has, look at, it even has like a row of um, nuts and bolts too. So we could put those as well. 
All right, so this is the acetate box that I was telling you about. So look how cute, wouldn't this be the cutest little gift? All right, so we have our acetate box. So I'm gonna put the card in there. Get in there. Okay, so we have our cute little card. And I still have a couple little robots left over from my class in the mail. And I'm gonna stick him in here like that. So we've got our cute little envelope in there with our robot card and our fun little robot. And then I'm gonna take the, this stuff. See this robot -y nuts and bolts stuff? And I'm just gonna put it on the bottom of my box. So my box has a little bit of decoration and it might have to have more adhesive. We'll see, right? Like if it pops off. Can you see my wheels turning? That's what's going on in my head right now. See these gears? It's going, but look how cute. Now I could have stamped something on the envelope because then you would see, you know, you would see that. But, um, but is it that fun? Wouldn't that be a cute little present? Um, let's see. So this would be a cute little present, but I could, could but I like that the, the envelope already has the stripes on it. So it's already kind of decorated. Anyways, all right. So we have, so let me, this video has gone on too long. You're going to be going, you know what? It's almost tomorrow. You have chatted long enough lady all right so here's this one that i need to make into a card and i'm going to show you these three cards so this one just has popped because what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some ribbon or something on the bottom of these um just because there's a lot of white space i like white space but not too much white space right so i could even put um, I might just put this down there. I'm just going to put that down there. This is like nuts and bolts ribbon. All right, and then I'll just trim that. That looks stinking cute. Now it's not so naked down there. All right. And then I could put this on the inside. So when I cut that piece of white, that's going to go on the inside. Hang on a minute. I'm going to put this on the bottom. So that's going to go on the inside of the card. So I'm just going to trim this. I'll just have to trim these two sides. And then this will go on the inside of this one. Now it's a little different white. See that? It's a little bit of a different white color than this. So just keep that in mind, but that will be cute on the inside of that one. And I might just put some flowers. So anyways, all right, so there's that, there's that. There is that. And so definitely if you have not got this kit, if you're thinking about it, um, I always say if, if you know you want it, don't delay because ugh, you hate to miss out on it. And I can't find the piece of paper that shows the item code. It's probably staring right up. Oh, and this is, I was going to put some different embellishments and I never did that. Because I was thinking, it's like squirrel. Because we have the iridescent um, rhinestones and we have the polished dots. So I was like thinking I would want to use something that would see through, like you could, because they've got such cute little details on them. So if you run out of like the um, googly eyes or whatever, these are just our polished dots. So if you put it on the eye, it is super cute, but you can still see his, uh, his pupil. Like it, you can see through, but it makes his eyes bigger. 
you can still see his people through it. Oh, thanks, Jeanne. Hey, Lady Di. Ah, uh, but isn't that weird? I mean, I had it here a second ago. And now, who knows where it is? But that, oh, it's right here underneath um, my nuts and bolts. All right, so this is what craziness went on today. So I'll, there's the item code. These are the cards. This is the extra little, um, if you want to make a little present. These little robots I got on Amazon. So if you just look for, I think they were called Bendable Robot. That's where I got those. And um, they came in a variety of colors. There was like yellow and purple and red. Um, and then nuts and bolts, if you want to get um, a stamp set that would actually go well with it, right? So anyways, that's, that's what we talked about today. <laughs> I had to stand up to make sure I didn't hit the phone wrong because yesterday I hit the phone wrong because I didn't look. So anyway, so I'm glad that you liked that. I'm gonna finish these cute cards. And um, so let me know. So reach out to me if you would um, like me to, not necessarily with this kit because um, it it has been, it came out just the other day. So, and I already have like a class going on for March. So if, if you would like go, oh, that would be fun. Then the next time a kit comes out, if it's um, kind of like this or whatever, then maybe I'll like quick say, hey, I'm gonna do this as a class so I know how many to order um, just because um, like I don't want to be stuck with them, right? Like I don't want to go, oh, you know, 20 people are going to love this class and I order 20 and only like 10, 10 like it. So, um, so Raquel, you brought that up. So I will um, keep that in mind because I do, I love alternatives. And then the, the kits would have to come to me because I would be cutting other card stocks, right? Like I would be cutting, so then it would have to go back out. So we'll see, cause then there would be shipping. So who knows? Um, or, so this is me like going, okay. Or you order your own kit using my hostess code and you'd have to tell me you got it right. Like you'd have to get it. And then I would have to just send you the class stuff, right? Because your kit would come to you. So that might work too. So see Raquel, you, you started the nuts and bolts in my head trying to think it out. <laughs> oh, I don't think well on the fly. I stamp better on the fly than thinking on the fly. So anyways, um, Oh, yay. I hope I did because they're so cute. So I will put the supplies I used today underneath the video and um, with the item code. And I'll also put the nuts and bolts item code um, because it is so fun, you know. And, and if you've got grandkids, even if you've got like neighbor kids that like to come over, we have some cute neighbor kids. I might get a couple of kids. They're like brand new. They have eight kids, right? And um. So I might buy a couple of kits because like I said, it's all inclusive. And um, I might just put them in a little bag and go happy Easter and give them a couple couple kits. I might do that. So anyways, now Cindy got me thinking, but um, but definitely um, don't delay. Okay, I'm gonna stop Gavin. I just, I'll just keep talking all day long. All right, so thank you so much for joining me today and having fun with this um, impromptu kind of kit. And um, I will see you. I don't do lives on Thursday. I work from the crack of dawn to late, trying to like get everything done. But I will see you Friday at three o'clock, Arizona time, same time, same channel for my dyes shorts, okay? I really appreciate you spending the time with me today. I know I went way long, sorry. Okay, I'll see you Friday. Bye for now.